regreso aquí en Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota eh, y estamos, eh, como les decía, esta semana estuvimos en eh, North Carolina, eh, cerca de Raleigh, probando el nuevo Lexus IS 2014, Lexus por fin, por fin, por fin, le ha sacado lo mucho de Toyota que había en sus autos y en el Lexus IS eh, tiene un diseño muy atractivo eh, por fuera. Eh, pero sobre todo por dentro, me parece que ahí es donde ha mejorado más el auto. Lexus ha estado, hablábamos en el segmento anterior de los premios Toro Quarly 2013, y Lexus siempre ha estado en los primeros lugares en ese y en muchos otros estudios, porque los autos francamente son muy buenos, tienen una confiabilidad, duran mucho, eh, pero en, en cuestión de diseño habían estado un poco, se habían quedado un poco atrás, me parece, en cuanto a la competencia, y por fin ahora, desde ya hace un año, me parece, un año, han empezado, empezaron con el GS, que fue el primer modelo que tiene esa parrilla en doble trapecio invertido, que realmente es atractiva. Y ahora el, el IS, el modelo de entrada, digamos, del segmento de lujo, eh, donde compite con el BMW Serie 3, el Mercedes-Benz C-Class, y ahora también con el Cadillac ATS, que en realidad desde que salió hace el año pasado ha estado teniendo grandes cifras de ventas y está dándole gran competencia. Así que estuvimos allá en North Carolina, como les decía, y vamos a, a, a hablar la entrevista, a escuchar la entrevista, perdón, con Owen Peacock, que es el Product Manager, Product Marketing Manager de Lexus para Estados Unidos, y nos va a hablar no solamente del auto, sino también de todo lo que está haciendo Lexus para tratar de atraer más consumidores y sobre todo darles eh, el servicio eh, que se espera de una marca de lujo y sobre todo, como decíamos, poder estar a la altura de la competencia que es mucha y muy buena. Así que vamos a escuchar la entrevista con Owen Pickup de Lexus. So Owen, uh, thank you very much for having us here. We're on uh, Rockingham, uh, what's the name of the city? Uh, Rockingham Speedway here yeah. in North Carolina with the new IS 2014, third generation for this car. And um, basically a new car, right? Yeah, this is the all new IS. Um, so this will actually be one of the main uh, cars that we've got for Lexus that's really exciting. It's got our brand new uh, spindle grill. It's the most aggressive expression of that new spindle grill, which is kind of our new signature look yeah. for the front end of the car. That comes from the LFA, right, originally? Um, It's some, of it. it's some of the design cues come from yeah. LFA. Uh, I think what you'll see with the Lexus brand overall is we're really passionate about design. So you first saw the spindle grill on the GS when it came out uh, a little mm -hmm. over a year ago. Now it's carrying through all of our mild models and the IS is the latest, uh, latest car to get it. Yeah, and uh, the outside looks completely different, but the inside I think is even more different than the previous generation with uh, no offense or anything, but like the previous um, design's interior Why is, why that's good as this one? Yeah, this new one, again, you know, going after design, um, as well as driver convenience, driver comfort is, uh, has been a real key. So the minute you get in the car, you can easily see where everything's been positioned. So with just extending your arm, you can reach all the controls. It's not uncomfortable to do that. With your eyes, you really don't have to take them off the road all that much yeah. to see all the information that's going on with your car, whether it's something as simple as looking how many miles you've driven or looking at something like the nav screen. It's all really within reach of both your eyes and, uh, and arms. Yeah, and also the, the, the selection of materials, the combination, it's just really nice. I mean, you can, everything you touch, you, you look, you smell, it's, it's pretty nice, like a complete upgrade from last generation. And that's really important to deliver a complete car, a complete package, just because you change the outside doesn't yeah. mean you ignore the inside, and we haven't. So really, we want to make this, again, a complete experience, both inside the car, outside the car, and when you're buying the car. Yeah, and especially because the competition has getting tougher, right? I mean, like the Cadillac ATS, the BMW, for sure. I mean, that's like the, the classic leading this segment and all that. So it's, it's getting more competition, yeah, more and better. This is the near um, entry luxury segment, and this is probably one of the most competitive segments in there. So, you know, there's been steadfast competitors in there for a while. We've got some new entries in there. IS has been in there. This is its third generation, uh, and we're really confident that this latest generation of the IS is really going to be one that's going to compete for leadership within that segment. Yeah, and uh, Lexus has always been, and it's always ranked very high in every every study of the industry, satisfa consumer satisfaction, reliability, and all those things. 
but you say also like putting more effort into that especially customer service yeah we've actually got two new positions relatively new positions at the dealerships one is our lexus delivery specialist who really customize the vehicle delivery so you've saved your money you've spent your money you've enjoyed the car now you want to get it delivered to you and really it's about customizing how you want it delivered the second position that we've got at our dealerships Excuse me, let me go back yeah. to that one that's like uh, well people are ordering the car or they or when they already have ordered the car and they get the possession of it and like learn because there's a lot of technology in the car and that's really key so you know usually there's this thing of where you spent all this time buying the car, you just want to get out of there, get in your new yeah. car and drive away. Well, there's so much technology in the car and so many cool features that we really want to make it an experience of where you look forward to that delivery. So you just want to get the keys and get the heck out of there. We want you to say, you know what, maybe I'll even come back tomorrow and spend two hours taking delivery so I can really understand everything that's going on with my car. So the other one is the tech specialist? Yeah, the other one is the Lexus, uh, what we call the Lexus uh, technology specialist. And what we're really seeing today in the marketplace for cars is this meeting of technology in your life with the car technology. So smartphones, as we all know, have so much technology. Well, that's really being integrated now into the car. So whether it's you want to make a reservation through Open Table, uh, you want to search something on Bing, you want to listen to your favorite Pandora radio station, there's so much technology that we really do need to do a service to our customers and educate them on how to integrate it seamlessly into the into the car so it's not a problem it's actually a real big benefit yeah so people can come in customers can, and get the car let's say on a friday go over the weekend and then come back on monday to whenever the next week and like okay can you explain me this and that's part of the service yeah absolutely so again it's about whatever the customer wants we just want to tailor that experience to them so from a convenience standpoint uh, from a no hassle standpoint but you're right maybe they just they drove away and all of a sudden four days later they have a question they can come in and ask their delivery specialist or ask their technology specialist and these people aren't primarily salespeople. they're there really to service the customer so these people do have you know the expertise and the knowledge to really help you out and yeah uh, you were mentioning in your presentation that it has brought a lot of uh, younger employees and like more tech savvy employees to the your dealership which also opens up a different doors for you inside and out, right? Yeah, so imagine someone who's working at, let's say, a retail technology store, a Best Buy or something like that. Um, they already know the technical aspect of technology and smartphones and things of that nature. So what we've really done is tapped into that type of a, a workforce and said, hey, why don't you come and do that same type of thing, but in the dealership environment. So it's given them an opportunity, plus it's given us an opportunity to have new people come in and be a Lexus associate that we may not have talked to in the past. Yeah. So these two, uh, the new generation, two models, IS250 and IS350, right? Yeah, we have the IS250, we have the IS350. Uh, they come in different variants, so you can get rear-wheel drive, you can get all-wheel drive, or you can step up to what we call F-Sport. And the F-Sport grade is really uh, a more performance oriented uh, edition of the car and really what's cool is when you get into that uh, IS 350 F Sport which is a fantastic car fantastic powertrain the neat thing is what we call uh, it's got a it's a meter in there that's carried down from the LFA so anyone who's familiar with the LFA yeah. supercar the minute you get in there you will I recognize that meter. Have gone into an LFA because there are so few of them. Yeah a lot more people have access to the meter <laughs> in the IS than they will in an LFA that's for sure. Excellent. Well, thank you very much again for your time and for having us here. We're going to keep enjoying the driving the car here around the track and then go back to the beautiful hotel. All right, let's keep on enjoying this car. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pues a veces fue la entrevista sobre el nuevo Lexus AIS 2014, un auto que realmente me gustó mucho, eh, no solamente como decía el diseño exterior, el interior, el manejo. Estuvimos probándolo en, una, en la pista de Rockingham Speedway allá en North Carolina y realmente el auto se maneja eh, súper bien, eh, obviamente el de el 250 que es un motor más pequeño no tiene la misma respuesta del 350 que es espectacular cuando se maneja en la pista eh, vamos a colocar una serie de videos también ahí en nuestro canal de YouTube eh, lo pueden buscar Auto 060 en YouTube y ahí van a poder ver exactamente de lo que estamos hablando rápidamente antes de que, antes de que se acabe el segmento una nueva lista de Kelly Blue Book que siempre saca listas muy interesantes estas son las mejores SUVs 2013 por menos de 25 mil dólares y la voy a decir rápido pero también la colocamos en Facebook y en nuestra página para que lo vean Honda CRV número uno la Mazda CX-5 en el número dos Ford Escape número tres eh, la Toyota RAV4 eh, totalmente rediseñada para este año en el número cuatro y lo que hablábamos antes eh, Kia y Hyundai en el lugar cinco y seis con la Kia Sorrento y la, y la Hyundai Santa Fe Sport también la Subaru Foster en el número 7, otro, otro modelo que fue totalmente rediseñado. En el número 8 está la Jeep Wrangler, 
eh, el modelo también eh, del grupo Chrysler que habíamos hablado antes de cómo han subido en su calidad eh, y cómo está, están trayendo productos nuevos y mucho más interesantes y atractivos para el público. Eh, en el número 9, la Volkswagen T1, una SUV compacta. Y en el número 10, la Buick Encore, también una, un modelo de, de lujo, de la división de lujo de General Motors, eh, eh, completa el top 10 de las mejores SUVs 2013 por menos de 25 mil dólares, que fue compilada por eh, Kelly Blue Book. Y esto no solamente incluye el, el valor de inicial del auto, sino también está en consideración el eh, valor residual después de haber tenido y mantenido el auto durante cinco años. Y eh, también algo muy importante que siempre se debe tener en cuenta a la hora de tomar la decisión de comprar el auto, cuánto cuesta tener y mantener el auto. Les doy un ejemplo simplemente, por ejemplo, aquí en la Honda CRV que um, cuesta menos de 25 mil dólares, pero el, el costo de tenerla y mantenerla durante cinco años llega a 35 mil 336 dólares y el valor residual después de ese periodo son apenas 12 mil 140. Así que muchos números, mucha información lo ponemos en eh, facebook.com slash auto 060 para que la puedan analizar y quizá se puedan dar una ayuda a la hora de decidir qué auto van a comprar si es que están en ese proceso en estos momentos. No se vayan que cuando regresemos vamos a hablar con Ross Raider del Instituto de Seguridad en las carreteras para hablar de una nueva iniciativa que tienen. Esto es Auto 060 yo soy Javier Mota.